Hi, I'm Gotspar Boido and uh, setting up this uh, initiative called Listen Africa and uh, basically what it's all about is actually using radio to drive change and uh, I remember my sister Forest Matt who's a teacher she bought me um, a radio set and so uh, when I got connected to, to, to the world through the radio and I knew how much it changed my life and I was just getting all the information around the world and so, so when I look back and see how much radio has helped me and so me and my friend at that time we set up a listeners club and so we're meeting up and, and discussing all these things we seen on the radio, listening to on the radio and so um, and that's how I decided to set up this initiative called Listen Africa and basically it's just using radio to drive social change across African rural communities and, and so basically it's what, what what I'm doing and, and, and help you to establish and, and, and move forward to yeah. So basically, um, I'm setting up uh, listeners clubs. Like I'm from Nigeria, obviously, and so uh, so there's a lot going on in Nigeria at the moment, and, and so we're spreading tentacles to countries like South Africa, Malawi, and hopefully soon uh, Liberia. But a lot, of, a lot of countries in in, in Africa, and and so um, it has a very um, massive presence of community radio and, and, and so basically what we're doing with the listeners club is to engage people with the information you know from their communities and, and so they can actually be involved in what's going on not just listeners but how you can help them in decision making and, and so um, that's the whole idea of the listeners uh, club part of the thing part of the uh, a project in listen Africa is the Takai FM and so basically it's it's 100 percent education radio station and so we've got two major target audience and, and in the mornings um, we have programs for school children those who can't go to school who perhaps have to be in the farms to work in the farms or have to hawk and and bring income for the family so we're targeting those guys from eight o'clock in the morning when other kids are in class so we bring live recordings from classrooms and then we bring studio uh, 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 recordings as well based on the Nigerian curriculum or if we're going to another part of Africa based on the curriculum in that country and so they could be anywhere on the farm, hawking, but as long as they've got radio they're not missing out on education really and then once that's done in the evenings and we target their parents especially the mothers in Nigeria for example as funny as it sounds 95% of the women are illiterate and so that is just you know massive opportunity for us and this in Africa and Takai FM and so in the evenings we have a special adult education programs for for these women and, and then so education uh, programs like agricultural education and, 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 and things like HIV and AIDS and basic literacy and everything really so yeah my sister's you know a teacher in Nigeria and then so she's actually a concert in the education system and and so but yeah basically because it's a massive project we will uh, get the government education system involved like the Ministry of Education in each state in Nigeria we'll get them involved and, and then so we actually using the recognized curriculum and, and, and then we bring the right stuff to the children but also quality uh, the, the concept really is having, um, not having a lot of schools, but having one studio, having quality, few quality teachers, bring quality education through, uh, through radio. And so we, we think um, the government is very interested in, in, in this uh, program, and so they're very willing to be involved in it. And so uh, we're speaking to my sister, who's a teacher, and then making uh, contacts with all the teachers as well in the country. And, and, and so it's been really uh, pr uh, productive so far. Uh, we're not going to hide that. There are a lot of challenges. Um, for example, Nigeria at the moment has this uh, Boko Haram group, and so uh, these guys who say Western education is a shame, and though they're pretty much in the north of the country, but they're very against education, anything Western education, and so that's a problem though, but we're not seeing that as an obstacle that's going to stop us. And another thing again is what I perceive and is the fact that uh, the fact that radio is one way, in some sense, that could make um, our students, the students, so lazy and, and how can we sort of assess the work they're doing, how can we assess what they're doing, how do we assess follow-up and that sort of So these are challenges but we're looking at uh, uh, bringing solutions to, and, and seeing how we can um, make them you know, work for us, uh, for, for the good of the station really. And so, But yeah, we're not going to hide those ones, they're there, obviously they're there and so yeah. Yeah, so one of the things uh, in gathering feedback from our audience to see, uh, to measure impact or success level really is actually, I've got um, the plan for uh, an essay competition and so where we can 
more like an incentive and then we, we put prize and scholarship for for and, and we give books out for you know, the people who succeed in these essay competitions the winners and so uh, this is one of the ways to see um, the response to our, our, our programs and and how how well we're impacting our community and and also um, what I also want to do is not just an ordinary listener club but in a way that um, I could fashion a listener club to be actually um, a classroom and then so once in a while I gather these children into a setting that might well even be on the mango tree and then you know gather them there and then in several locations and then and then you know hands-on training as well and, and as well as the distance education so that's another way to gather feedback really so basically uh, listen Africa hopes to uh, donate uh, solar powered radios and, and wind up radios the reason we want to do this instead of our uh, uh, battery powered radius is because these are more efficient to be honest and also uh, you, 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 it's basically um, energy efficient and, and then you don't have to charge the battery it's just you know you wind up or you and then half of it holds and the sun is there graciously there and so so that's also one of the reasons we're doing this and so so yeah and then we we, we get solar powered radios and, and wind up radios for listener groups and and then it's also we have the big sort of solar powered radios and and the wind up radios as well and then so this one is enough for one listener group really and then as part of the incentives though we also donate small ones for individuals who show promise in the listener groups obviously it's very daunting it's very daunting but um the task is very big but so is the passion also and uh I, I do know it's very big and sometimes I question myself if I'm capable of doing this but then again you know, I'm all up for it and, and, and then I'm driven by the passion I'm driven by the change that that I see you know coming from this initiative and so but yeah it's it's definitely daunting it's it's um, not really nervous but sort of you know on the front line on the crossroads really but yeah but also, you know, very, very optimistic as well. Very optimistic, and I'm pretty certain it'll kick off really good and um, give it my time and commitment and everything. Yeah. When I the last time I was in Nigeria, in the capital city Abuja, which seems to be very urban, but the 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 the, the, the amount of people who listen to radio in the last five years has actually increased than when I started listening to radio. So I really argue the radio is not dead, and I think heavens, it will never die. Radio will never die. It seems to me to be the the most effective tool in uh, communication development.